Waymo, which is Google's self-driving car division, it's getting ready for testing its new phase here. The plan to hit the road with its autonomous Chrysler Pacifica minivans is already in the works. So joining us now to discuss this, Lisa Edichico. She's the tech reporter over at Time Magazine. So Lisa, what exactly is the partnership between Waymo slash Google slash Alphabet and Chrysler? What are they doing and what's the plan? Sure. So um, t the news that we just saw is so the partnership was actually previously announced, but now we're getting our first look at the vehicle that came out of that partnership. Um, so I think earlier today um, there they revealed their self-driving minivan um, and basically it, it looks basically like an ordinary minivan, but outfitted with different types of sensors and technology that allow it to navigate itself. And I think what's significant here is that this is really one of the first times we're seeing Alphabet kind of turn its autonomous car division into an actual business. It's, it's graduating from being a research project and a moonshot to being something that, that can be turned into a viable business. And I think um, these minivans are kind of the first indicator of that. All right. So, I mean, this is coming all at the same time that, that Uber is having some issues in California, San Francisco, with testing some of its autonomous vehicles. So let's talk about minivans. Why the minivans? And is there, is there a meaning behind the type of car that they're using? Why is Chrysler the perfect partner for Waymo? And why is the minivan this pilot project? Sure. So I think the minivan is significant because it, it sets up Waymo to start its own Uber rival, um, a, a ride sharing service. Those types of vehicles are usually better for accommodating groups of people. And um, while that's not official, there have been reports that Alphabet is looking into creating its own um, Uber competitor. So I think that'll be key in the years to come is seeing how that plays out. All right, so autonomous vehicles, it seems like every week there's a little more headline news coming out of this space. It seems like it's getting crowded, right? I mean, there's a lot of folks out there. Everyone's rumored to be doing something. What kind of future do you see for autonomous cars overall? Personal cars, more ride hailing services. Where are we headed given the fact that this technology seems to be ramping up pretty quickly over the course of the past 18, 24 months? Absolutely. So I think that ride sharing is certainly going to be the first um, type of the first iteration of self-driving cars that we actually see on the road. Um, it's just more practical. Um, there, are, while there are still many issues and especially regulatory issues at hand, um, it seems a bit easier and, and less complicated to to set up and roll out than having individuals purchase their own self-driving ve self-driving vehicles. So, I think the first um, inkling of self-driving cars that we'll actually see on the road will definitely be in that form. Um, but there's still a lot of challenges. We just saw Uber is facing regulatory challenges in San Francisco with its pilot programs. So there's, there's still a lot that has to be figured out. And I think a lot of that is going to come from tech companies and car makers like Chrysler working together to figure that out. It's all about putting together the expertise, right? The software and the technology versus those automakers who have years of expertise doing what they do. Lisa, exactly. thank you much. Thank you so much for joining us. Lisa Edichico over at Time Magazine. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.